Clean Plate Club. We've all been members at some point, right? Or have at least been encouraged by our parents to join. But did you know the food left on your plate when you find yourself on the outskirts of this club has led to some less than desired environmental effects? The United States produces four times more food than what is needed to sustain our population. On top of that, we also waste about one third of our food before it even gets to our tables. Where does all this food come from? What happens to the extra? What effect does it have on our planet? And what can we do to stop it? In this video, I will be exploring all of these questions. So, let's begin. First off, where does this food come from? There are two different sources. The first being at the customer level. Consumers contribute about one third of our food waste. This comes from you and me. And as a result of purchasing too much food from the grocery store, or simply not knowing how to manage our food in our refrigerators correctly. The other two thirds of food waste comes from the production and distribution sector. Some of this food is thrown away because it is not aesthetically appealing. It doesn't reach market standards. This could be oranges from Florida, Potatoes that did not meet market standards. Spinach that was thrown away because a farmer was unable to keep grass out of his field. Bananas that were too small to be accepted into the market. Or leeks that are just not the correct shape or size. Another contributor to the two-thirds wasted from production and the distribution sector is the mismanagement in the cold chain network. The cold chain network is a network that transports produce, fish, dairy, and meat. It includes marine containers, refrigeration, truck and trailer refrigeration, cold storage warehouse and rooms, and food retail displays. We are able to see the effects of food waste long after the simple act of throwing it away. As many of us know, we are running out of places to throw away our trash globally. Food waste is the number one form of trash that we can see. By mitigating how much food we throw away, we will be able to create room for the garbage that actually needs to be occupying these spaces. Lastly, before moving on to the next section, I would like to get a couple of percentages in your guys' head. This is a table that shows different food types and the percent of that food type that is wasted. As you can see, 35% of fish and seafood is wasted, 20% of cereals, 20% of dairy products, and 20% of meats. Now we are ready to look on to what the effects are of wasting food. One of the largest effects we see is the unnecessary consumption of our resources. This includes water, land, and soil. To put into perspective how much we are actually wasting, let me give you a few images. The amount of water that is put into wasted food is 250 kilometers squared. That is the equivalent to three times the size of Lake Geneva. We use roughly 30% of Earth's usable land to grow the food we consume. We are throwing away roughly one third of this food. Although it is a rough math, we can assume that 10% of the Earth's surface is being used only to end up in the trash can. During a time when we are deforesting to create more agricultural fields, it is important to look at what we can do to preserve some of our dwindling forests. Also, food itself is a resource that is being thrown away. Here in the United States, we may not think of it as such, but in areas of the world without food security, it definitely is. And we are wasting 1.3 billion tons of this resource every year. We are also consuming excess energy. The amount of energy that is spent on wasted food produces enough CO2 that it surpasses many countries. So many countries, in fact, that if it were one itself, it would be the third biggest producer in the world, right under China and the United States. There are also two other effects of food waste that are not directly related to resource waste, but nevertheless are contributing to many environmental issues around the world. Monocropping being the first. Farmers are forced to turn to less sustainable practices when forced to supply enough food that we have wiggle room to throw some away. Monocropping inherently leads to less biodiversity due to the lack of variety in habitat. The second effect of food waste that is not related to resource waste is the contributions to climate change. Peter Lenner, the executive director of the Natural Resources Defense Council states that along with synthetic nitrogen fertilizers and animal production, Food waste is one of the largest contributors to climate change. And climate change is debatably one of the largest environmental issues facing our generation. Now that we understand the effects of food waste, what are we able to do to mitigate these? First, on a large scale, the government can enact food safety standards to properly transfer food, such as meat, dairy, fish, and produce. 
This is looking at the cold chain network and would ensure that food gets to stores in a timely manner that would allow for less food waste. Secondly, we can take control of food waste in our own homes. This includes eating all your food on your plate and managing what is in your fridge. Lastly, we can educate those around us. Roughly over half of Americans are not even aware that food waste is a problem. Therefore, how can we expect them to correct a problem that they are uneven aware that it exists? So, if we know that there's a problem, we know the source of the problem, we know solutions, and we know how it's affecting our environment negatively, why is it still a problem? Well, I attempted to find scientific evidence to prove this. I was unable to find anything as far as health concerns go, or anything even to back the side of food wastes. Though I only was able to find a survey that said the two reasons why people still contribute to food waste today is that they want to make sure that their meals are fresh and flavorful, that there is a lack of time in the average American's life to worry about food waste. As I have explained in this video, food waste is a large environmental concern for our generation. Food waste comes from multiple different sources, from farmers to consumers and anywhere in between. Whether it is wasting resources, consuming excess water and energy, wasting your money at home, contributing to climate change, and the loss of biodiversity, food waste has many effects. Unfortunately, there is not much research done on the health benefits to food waste, so we are unable to see what mitigations may do for public health. But on the other hand, we are lucky, on the environmental side of things, because we have many different solutions at every link in the food chain. Food waste is a large problem that deserves more attention than it gets. It involves politics, inequality, and of course the environment. I encourage everyone to take at least some sort of stance on mitigating food waste for the betterment of our planet. Whether it be making sure you're in the clean plate club at every meal, purchasing less food, or even writing to your senator to imply food waste regulation in stores.